What's going on guys? Today I got some Cat 8 wires from Bofali. Alright, so I'm just going to do a quick rundown, another basic showcase and explanation. I'm not going to get too into too much of the tech side of this, but we'll just give you the basics and why Cat 8 versus anything else. So, um, as you can see, these wires are from Bafali. You can see the gold connections. So these are pretty, they're on the higher end side uh, as far as wiring is concerned. It's a Cat 8, which is currently the best that you can get right now. So Cat 8 is the most expensive wire that you can currently buy uh, as far as Ethernet wiring is concerned. For the most part, 90% of people can get away with a Cat 6 wire. Even if you wanted to go a little overkill, you can go Cat 7. Um, a Cat 7 wire will give you 600 megahertz uh, speed. You can use that up to, for the gigabyte speed, you can get 10 gigabytes without an issue on there. Uh, and that's good for up to 100 meter cable length. So if you want to run 100 meters, which is 300 feet, you'll get that 10 gigahertz speed during that distance. With the Cat 8 wire, you could do up to 25 gigabytes per second on a 30 meter run, which is 90 feet. I knew my runs were going to be shorter. Um, I'm only running about 40 feet away from my router for my computer and uh, my TVs that I'm going to be hooking up with these wires. That was not an issue. And obviously, no one has 10 gigabyte connection speeds in their house right now. Um, it's just not available yet, especially in my area. We just got files like last year. Uh, that's the best you can get right now from them is one gigabyte per second. So. I want a little future proofing, a little overkill, uh, well, way overkill for what I need. Pretty much never need this, but again, for the cost difference, they say that these are the most expensive wires, the highest cost per foot dollar amount and all this other bullshit. In reality, I paid $30 for a 40 foot cable of this. It's not breaking the bank. Um, I really don't care. The difference of it was like $7 and I even got it on sale. It was like a $3 coupon. For this particular wire, so if you cut it down, it was a $4 difference. For that price, even full retail price difference at $7, it didn't make a difference to me. I wasn't going to sacrifice not getting the best cable I could buy at the time for 7 bucks. It just doesn't make sense to me. Right, a couple points on this particular wire. Uh, when you're purchasing wire, if you're going to be running it through the walls, you want to make sure you get a shielded wire. So this is triple shielded, which is why it costs a little bit more money than the regular a uh, Cat 8 or even a Cat 7. Cat 7 does come shielded. You can get any of these wires shielded. Just make sure they are shielded. This one in particular is triple shielded. And basically what that means is that it's a little more durable. And when you're running it through the walls, you're not going to have to worry about... Um, you don't want to worry about the wire getting like messed up on you as you're feeding it through the walls. They are pretty durable. I mean, let's be realistic here. It's a wire... If you're being that rough with it and running it through the walls and stuff like that, you know, you shouldn't be running wires anyway. But triple shielded or shielded in general is where you want to go with it. Also, keep an eye out because I've seen a lot of wires that were claiming they were Cat 7, Cat 6, Cat 8, whatever the story is, that the inner thickness of the wire was not there. So this is 26 uh, AWG, so American Wire Gauge, which is the minimum you don't want to go any lower than that, which would be a higher number. So wire gauge, the higher the number, the thinner the wire is, the lower the number, the thicker the wire is. So um, go at least 26. If you find 24, that's even better. Again, you're going to have a significant jump in price from there. 26 is more than enough, whether you're getting Cat 8, Cat 7, Cat 6, whatever. Uh, keep an eye out for that when you are purchasing wires. Don't just go with the cheapest one that you could find that says Cat 8 because it's if just like any other thing related into the tech world, you will get beat, scam, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, buying a Cat 8 labeled wire that is like a 28 uh, all American gauge wire. That's just one thing to keep out for. Um, the gold connectors and all that stuff really isn't that important. But, you know, if it helps, it helps. Whatever, fuck it. Spend a little bit of money. Don't just go out and buy the cheapest wire because you found a good deal on it. Just make sure you look at the specs of the actual wire before you go in and actually purchase it so that's pretty much it um if you guys needed a basic rundown of what you should choose majority of people can get away with cat 7 
you don't have any issue with that. You know, again, my friend JJ, shout out to him, trying to convince me to get, you know, save a couple of dollars. But, you know, once again, just like the computer build, I can't, for a $7 difference, fuck it, just buy the best one you can get. What $7? I mean, whatever. Again, we're not talking hundreds of dollars difference or 50 or 100, whatever. Like, it's not a significant difference. For me, it's just go right to Cat 8 and run with it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. we got new videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thank you guys for watching.